If you've not seen Hamilton with Julius Thomas III as Hamilton, then I would argue that you have not seen Hamilton. I am not an objective source because San Francisco's Hamilton is my friend, but also I have taste. So anyway, it's been a year and a half since the show was in town, and he and the cast are back for a limited time. Nothing and everything has changed. Good morning, my friend. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. you know, the last time we talked to you at Midday Live, you were headed across the country. Uh, I'm in the middle of Wisconsin somewhere. I just uh, pulled over to say hi to you guys. And you were, you know, passing some cows and headed out of town, figuring that you'd be a round trip. Now, it was a round trip, but it just took a lot longer than we expected. How does it feel to be back in San Francisco? Oh, my God. It, it's like homecoming. I mean, I'm, I'm running into so many friends that I know. I'm visiting all of my favorite places, discovering some new great places. I'm so happy to be back here. I don't know what to do. You are a consummate professional, and you, you know you have played Alexander Hamilton many times. However, when you're gone from that stage for a year and a half, what is the most nerve-wracking part about getting back on it? Okay, so for the first 15 minutes of the show, I'm going to share something with y'all. My heart was beating out of my chest. <laughs> I felt like I was fl floating the entire time and everything was in slow motion. My shot literally felt like it was 32 minutes long. <laughs> um, I think the fear was just, do I still know this thing? Am I still capable of doing it at the level that I was doing it a year and a half? And um, just sort of trying to give myself the grace to be right where I am and to, you know, fall in love with it again. And this isn't just, you know, the first time you're back in Hamilton. Your first performance here in San Francisco was the first time that Hamilton was back, period. The only cast that, that was returning that quickly. So that must have felt special and like some pressure. <laughs> a little bit of both. We're sort of the experiment. Um, you know, us and Wicked were the first ones to sort of open back up. So the world is looking at us from a COVID standpoint. The industry is looking at us at, like, are people going to buy tickets? And then our, our creatives are like, are y'all going to remember all of these words and lyrics <laughs> and where we put you? Uh, so there was a tiny bit of pressure, but it was it was also really magical because to be the only Hamilton company for a while, it was just Australia. But, you know, they had to shut down. They were holding down. And now we were the ones who were holding down and like carrying the torch. And um, it felt really amazing. A lot of stuff has happened since the last time we saw you. And obviously, you know, COVID changed the world, but also Black Lives Matter changed the world and a series of events you know, really got people thinking about a lot of the themes that are touched upon in this musical, Hamilton. So when you're, mm -hmm. you're up there after a year and a half, it's not just kind of like working out, okay, where do I stand? What are my words? But I'm wondering if just the show is different to you now. Well, yes, the show is definitely different because we are different people. We've lived a year and a half of life and a very you know, specific form of life where we had to sort of like clutch on to the ones that we loved. So, you know, it, it, it deepens the work. All of us came back feeling like we had something more important to say with this piece. When you look out on the audience now, now there are masks. Whenever I'm facing out, and there are a lot of moments where I do face out and just sort of sing front, I have a spotlight in my eyes at all times. <laughs> so yeah. so even, even moments where I can't look out onto the audience, it's with this blinding light in my face. And right at the end of the first act, we go from spotlight in my face to blackout. And I literally have to grab the arm of George Washington and have him lead me <laughs> off of the stage. <laughs> lead me off the stage because I'm blinded. Um, and we always laugh about that, Darnell and myself. But it's nice to look out and be able to see eyes here and there. And now I'm looking at just eyes. So right. That's that's very cool. <laughs> so if you're sitting in the first two rows, make sure you're giving good eye. Yes. Please give good eye. Please look like you are interested, <laughs> entertained. And please, and please don't be on your phone. We can see you. Are people still on their phones? People are still on their phones, but that's all right. You know, there's a lot to keep up with right now. I totally understand. But you know that I, you know how I behave in a theater because if anyone is around me and they're if they are talking on their phone, if they're having a loud conversation with somebody, and my friend is up there singing the role of Aham, there, <laughs> I'm not going to say there's going to be a fight, but there might be a fight. Don't hurt anybody, okay? <laughs> Listen, the other night. 
The other night, I heard someone unwrapping a piece of candy during one of the softest moments in the show, and it no. seemed like it went on for a good two minutes. And part of me was like, you can't even eat that candy. Your mask is supposed to be up. Please stop twiddling with that candy paper. <laughs> Thank you. That is so annoying. We can, people, we can hear your behavior. In the audience, we can hear can, you. They can hear on stage, so so please please stop that. Okay, so you but at the here... same time, I'm super happy that mm -hmm. everyone is back. So if you must unwrap candy, please still come. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Julie Thompson III, it is always such a pleasure to talk to you. The pleasure is always mine. Thank you so much to you and the family for keeping me and for loving on me, and we'll see you soon. Oh Isn't my, nice to see him again. Oh my gosh, so great. I, I, he admitted that his heart was actually pounding. Like, you know, that is amazing. And, and you know what? I, I just don't get it, Reggie. The people who would like eat or like distract from their own enjoyment of the show that is so amazing in front of them. Mm. Yeah, I did get ugly there for a second. Yeah. And, <laughs> but it was deserved. It was deserved. So no. please, people, like, eyes front mouth shut it's it's time for the show it, it's a good reminder for people of the etiquette because they haven't been in the theaters for a while that's true you know? they've been in their homes for a long time yeah. so we need to get back to that um <laughs> i'm seeing the manners. show again i, I want to let people know it's broadwaysf.com like to get your tickets and i want to see you and julius thomas the third do a little maybe youtube video on how to behave when you're at one of those in case we forgot i think that'd be hilarious done